Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we have two wars left. Now, these wars are not going to be anywhere near as fast as the last two, which happened simultaneously in a single episode, because we are facing the final two federations. Now, I do actually want to take out the stronger one first, if I can get my pop shield to stay up. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Okay, I think we're good. So, I want to fight the Union of Independent Systems over here. Now, I was looking at this off camera. They've got 11 exclaves over here that we can wipe up relatively easily. And then they've got this large area over here. But this area is actually pretty cut off from the rest of the galaxy. We've got one entry point here. We've got a second entry point here. And then there's a whole lot of nothing until here where we see a third entry point. And then a whole lot of nothing up here, actually, until we see a fourth entry point here that we already have through this wormhole, and a fifth entry point here. So that's actually pretty cut off. Surprisingly so. We can clean this up pretty easily, and then bring this down to being a single choke point here, in Sastrum. And then, on top of that, we can start cleaning these up with our remaining fleets. We can focus on, say, the Taverite Company first. The Packeries have a little bit over here, but none of these require any actual invasions. Now, there are some areas that would, but actually this entire region here would not. This would require an invasion. And this down here would require some. This is the Estragon denomination over here, of course. This would not. So I feel like we can actually clean this up substantially more easily than I would have expected. We're going to have to get into position. So we're going to take the 7th and get into position right here to clean this up. And let's just go through our combat fleets. So the first combat fleet is currently here. We definitely want to hit that reinforce fleet button. And we can get them in position to just clean up all of this. We only need the single fleet. If we take this gateway, they have no way of getting here. And we can take this gateway immediately. So we'll get into position here. There is this region that would need to be taken care of in theory. The second is still controlling the L gate. And I'm guessing that they have access to the L cluster from here. Although I didn't check that. Yeah, there's an L gate here. So we would definitely need to still have defenses at the L cluster. We're already in position with the third. The fourth combat fleet is, where are you? In this same location as the third? Okay, we're going to jump drive the fourth over to here. But we're also going to go ahead and hit that reinforce fleet button with the fourth and the third. Just get those done. Okay, the fifth combat fleet is currently located here. Now, we're already jump driving someone up to this region. So, we could jump drive over to here to invade this little exclave. However, our jump drive will be back in in seven days, so we'll come back to the fifth combat fleet. The sixth fleet is currently here. We could actually jump drive here. That's an interesting option. We'll jump drive there. The seventh combat fleet, already moving up. The eighth... I would kind of like the 8th to be responsible for helping clean up some of this territory. Let's actually jump the 8th. I'm just checking to see if there's any gateways or, or uh, wormholes or anything that we need to be concerned about up here. There kind of isn't. So let's jump the 8th to here. Hmm. That's out of range. What am I talking about? Let's jump the 8th instead to here. And we're not in the jump drive tool. Okay. <laughs> here. There we go. That'll be fine. The ninth, where is it located? The ninth is exactly where we want it to be. That is perfectly fine. And the tenth is located here. We definitely want to bring the tenth over to deal with the Estragon denomination. I'm just wondering, there's a wormhole here, a gateway here. We may just want to utilize this wormhole. Connect in over here. Actually, we can use their gateway since they're not currently borders closed to us. 
fascinating. Now, as far as the actual armies go, the question is, where do we want to have our four functional armies? We've got our fifth not exact exactly functional army, but we definitely want to have one army up over here to attack these guys. We'll position that one in Aphris if we can get there. We actually can't. Where's our jump drive limited to? Here? Okay, we are instead going to just come in over this way then. It'll take them some time to get there, but that's okay. These guys can come down to deal with the Estragon denomination, so they can jump drive down to here if I don't deselect them, which, of course, I did. So let's just take them down to here. And these guys are well positioned to go into this region, and I'd rather take these guys up to the north. And I'm wondering exactly how long it'll take them to get there. And do we do we have a fleet going up there? We definitely should. We can send the Ether Hatchling and the GCS Resurrection up there to at least hold this area, I suppose. That's something we could do. Because the third is there, yeah, and then the ninth is here. We could raise another fleet to attack this area. That is an option. Or we could just say, you know what, they're probably going to do some running amok over here, and we're okay with that because we'll clean this up super quickly, and then we'll be able to devote all of our fleets to this area. There is some of that that we should be considering. Okay, well let's go ahead and tick forward those seven days for, what was that, the fifth? Yeah, that was the fifth. To that end... We may actually want to jump drive the fifth over to a gateway. Two, one, and... Okay, there we go. So we can now jump drive the fifth. We could make it theoretically over to here. That is not particularly far. We could make it to... Could we make it to a gateway? Almost. That gateway is not within our territory, though. Hmm... How do we want to do this then? There's a gate there's a wormhole over here that is near a gateway. What if we just instead of jump driving them, what if we just wanted them to manually move here? There's no route to get there. Fair enough. Where are they located? They're located here. So they could theoretically come back over this way, but this is cut off by these guys. That's why there's no route. Okay. That's fine. We'll jump drive to, say, here, and then from there, we can make our way over to here. But we'll have to wait until that jump drive is completed. And that's completely fine. Oh, I forgot that I had the music paused. There we go. That's better. Wonderful. Okay. Eight more days until we get this jump made. Hmm, where's this Corvette intended to go? I don't know. That is certainly going to be an interesting question. Okay, so the fifth is now here, and we should be able to move them over to here. That'll be 339 days. By the time they get here, they may be able to jump drive again. So we'll just keep that in mind. Okay. Well, we're getting in position to fight the Union of Independent Systems, but we're not quite ready to do it yet. And honestly, I feel like they'll fall relatively quickly. Like, not... Space Amoebas? Okay, I don't care. Like, not tremendously quickly. That said, this is an army fighting these Space Amoebas. That's not ideal. When can we retreat this? Not for a while yet. 21 days. We're in a month tick right now. A study has been completed. We do have these guys right here. The first combat fleet. I'm not exactly sure. Actually, I am exactly sure. We can just bring them in and then right back. That should be fine. They'll arrive there pretty quickly. 
And these guys aren't doing much damage to our transport ships, so I think we'll be there quickly enough. Edict Duration will grab army health, and then we will also grab a defense platform damage. That is fine. We are pretty negative on our energy credits right now. That's also reasonably fine. Now, the Pestilent Armada, I feel like probably should just be disbanded. It's just a Corvette. And I think everyone should be maxed out. Okay, so the Space Amoebas appear to be pretty dead. That's excellent. And the first combat fleet is going to turn right back around and head back to Josk Fomat. That's perfect. I'm a little bit upset about our current energy credit deficit. There's no doubt about that. We could theoretically sell a few additional alloys. And that might not be the worst idea, necessarily. Yeah, that's fine. That is completely fine. Let's bump this up to 5,000. Actually, let's bump this up to 7,500. Max amount of 5,000 per trade? Oh. I didn't realize this was maxed to 5,000 per trade. That's an awkward limit. Okay, we'll bump it up, and I guess we'll sell another trade of 2,500? I do wish that you could type in here. That would be... Nice, but alas, you cannot. So we'll take this up to 2,500. There we go. Excellent. I don't know that that'll get us all the way over into positive energy credits, but it'll get us closer. Eventually, as soon as this month tick is over, anyway. Oh, we are positive. Okay, perfect. Now, we're currently a little bit negative on volatile moats and exotic gases. I suspect that the volatile moats will fix themselves. I'm going to bump this up to 60 volatile moats, so, and then 210 exotic gases. I think that will solve this. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, most of our fleets are in position right now. We're still waiting on the 5th, of course. They have to get all the way down to this gateway. But once they get up there, it should be pretty good. In theory, anyway. The first combat fleet appears to be missing their corvette. We'll bring them in a corvette. That'll be fine. The fourth combat fleet is still missing a few as well. I'm guessing they're actually on their way over there. And we're in a month tick right now, so we'll find out in a moment. Yeah, quite a few necrophages there. Yeah, they're a ways away. I'm guessing their reinforcements are just en route. Okay, let's go ahead and grab energy weapon damage. That will be fine. So we're waiting on the 5th and the 10th to get into position. And the 10th is in position, essentially. The 5th is not, and the GCX Resurrection and the Ether Hatchling, they're still a ways away. They're from they're at Terminal Egress right now, so they're going to have to come into Math Drop and then come in all the way over this way. We can maybe jump drive over the GCS Resurrection, though. Or actually, they're coming in over to Viscaran's Maw. Yeah, they would be doing that. That makes sense. So they're six months away currently. The 10th is, of course, in position now. And the 5th is almost to their gateway. Their jump drive will be cooled down in 50 days. I think by the time they get to the gateway, they will be cooled down. Excellent. So we are pretty much ready at this point. We are negative in energy credits again. That's, I suppose, to be expected. 918 isn't that bad, though. We can we can float that negative number of energy credits. We'll go ahead and jump drive over to here. The Ether Hatchling does not have a jump drive, so it can't it can't jump drive over. At least I don't think it does. Yeah, they don't have a jump drive. A study has been completed. That's completely fine. Defense platform damage, sure. We'll take straight craft damage. And we are almost ready to declare this not final war. I was going to say final war, but it is the penultimate war. We're just waiting on these guys to get into position. 
Now, if we look at these, we see that they're pathetic and inferior, so we don't expect any real challenge here. It's just going to take some time to invade all of these worlds, right? That's going to be the major thing. Rising unemployment is completely fine. Also, I did check. We did not need to make any additional sectors. The sectors are all completely fine, just for the record. Excellent. And we are just continually ah, throwing phones on the ground, apparently. <laughs> but no, we are uh, putting in a thousand minerals into the shared stockpile. But we may want to consider selling some of our excess minerals. We have gotten our army health here. We actually do need admin cap, so we will work on that. The fifth combat fleet is now in terminal egress, and it will be popping out over here momentarily. So we're going to jump drive it over to Quepta, and then we will declare this. Just waiting on it appearing over here. It is now appeared. Jump drive on over. Wonderful. So obviously this war is not going to be finished in a single episode, but I do think that we'll have it wrapped up pretty quickly. Just got to get into position here and then declare it and have all these month ticks happening. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful month ticks. Okay. I think we are now pretty much in position, just waiting on this last little jump here. And here it goes. Wonderful. We're in position, or close enough to in position. We are going to declare on the Estragon denomination. Now, they are the ones that are causing most of our crime. So, by getting rid of them, that'll get rid of a lot of our crime. We're going to declare war on them. Expel corporate... No, that's not our war goal. Our war goal is total war. <laughs> we have declared war. Excellent. We're going to need to tick forward a couple days, but we can issue forward our attack orders here. That's a lot of little fleets, but we don't actually care. So the first combat fleet is going to attack in over here. The second is going to remain where it's at in terminal egress. We're going to attack in over here, but we can't order that for two more days. I'm going to go ahead and tick forward those two days. One more here. There we go. Now the fourth is going to attack over here. The fifth is going to attack this way and attempt to turn this into a choke point. The sixth is going to attack in over this way. That's a reasonably strong fleet. It's no match for ours, though. The seventh is going to, I guess, kill this construction ship. The eighth is going to... For some reason, I thought that I had issued it orders to move to here, but no, I had absolutely not. We're going to come up this way and attack this region. The ninth, its mission is to clean this up just as quick as it can. So it comes back like so, and then once it takes Unuk, then it moves back to Bonos. And the tenth, of course, has already been issued orders. Excellent. So let the, let's let the seventh finish up this combat fleet, or rather this construction ship. This is not a combat fleet. <laughs> Any moment now, guys. There you go. And they're going to move over into this region, and then they'll jump drive over to here, probably. Yeah, we'll institute the increased benefits. That's completely fine. A hostile station has been engaged. Excellent. A study has been completed. Energy weapon damage will be fine. A hostile station has been engaged. Oh yeah, we expect a lot of hostile stations to be engaged. We also expect a lot of lag right now, as the computer attempts to cope with this. This is all to be expected. Excellent. Our battles are beginning to end. These guys are going to go ahead and continue pushing forward over this direction. The sixth actually took a fair amount of losses. I think that was the one that was attacking that 100k fleet. Yeah, that, that definitely is. We want to come over this way. The first requires orders. Their orders... Oh, this is awkward over here. Their orders are to come get that, and then after that, push up this direction. 
It's very awkward, but th that's the orders nevertheless. Kinetic weapon damage, sure. We do need to downgrade a station, and this is a good option to do so. Excellent. We will, of course, continue our invasion on many fronts here. These guys are on their way in. We want to clean up this area first and then attack Entuk Rom. And then probably the black hole after that. We'll see. That'll probably be in a different episode when I make that decision, so the decision making may change. And yeah, we expect this to happen. They have, I think this is a mega shipyard? Uh, it's a science nexus and mega shipyard in this system. Okay. Now that is some interesting information. The seventh combat fleet requires orders. Its orders are, of course, to jump drive to here, and then from there to take this, and then push down like so and get us connections up through here. Wonderful. The tenth will continue to push over this way. Let's see, there's a connection here. I think we're best off to come in this direction, attack like that, and then come to Polygar, and then to Itza, and then up this way, like that. And then from there, something like that. I'm not sure all of those orders took, but we'll see. We will certainly see. Okay, we're gonna push in over this way for sure. We're looking to essentially bring this back to a single choke point over here. So that'll be fine. Let's see, we should definitely bring in this transport fleet. We're going to jump drive it to Nuprin, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and start landing over here. Because we are definitely going to need to start bringing in our armies relatively soon. And yeah, we do expect for them to run around and do some damage, but there's not a whole lot that they can ultimately do. So this is completely fine. Study has been completed. Let's just wipe out this entire federation. Okay, you can go ahead and attack up over this direction, like so. Perfect. The sixth require orders. Their orders are to come clean up this area over here. There we go. Now the question is, who else is going to require orders? But I mean, we're definitely going to do a lot of damage to these guys. I believe we're fighting these. Yeah, they're not going to do so well in that fight. Not so well at all. This fleet is heading into Tarak, which is exactly what we want it to do. Excellent. And then, yeah, you're heading up this way. That is, once again, completely fine. Go ahead and do that. Just waiting on giving more orders is what's happening here, here right now. We have a lot of battles happening in a lot of locations, which of course means a lot of lag. Excellent. But we're making progress, and that is the important thing. The waiting world, shadows in the walls. Our settlers were initially happy to make use of the districts on Escant Prime. Their existence jump-started the colony, but now they've grown nervous. There are rumors that the facilities may still have occupants or active security systems, although no evidence of either have been found. Some colonists insist enigmatically that there are shadows in the walls. I'm sure it's fine. We'll discourage the superstition. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Speaking of things that have gone wrong, we need to get rid of a few of these starports. So we'll get rid of these guys over here. Excellent. We do appear to have this well underway at this point. We're going into Unuk, and then from there, we're going to come back up this way. We're attacking on, of course, many different fronts here. 
I'm just going to order that he goes to here for now. And we'll deal with the rest of that later on. The fourth can certainly push up over this way. That is completely fine. Actually, they're currently in combat. Now they're heading up over there. Excellent. We're winning a lot of battles. To be expected. Okay. How are we doing up here? Ah, we're ready to bring in this transport fleet. Perfect. Go land on Fernutopia. And then we'll attack over this way. Second combat fleet is, is of course, defending the Elgate, so that does not require orders right now. Yeah, this is going well. The third combat fleet does require orders. We will push into Moscot. Is that a shipyard? Nope, that's an interstellar assembly. That's fine. We will essentially need someone positioned here to quote-unquote cap off this shipyard. Otherwise, they're going to continue building... They're, they're just going to continue building ships here forever, right? That's That's been our experience. And this citadel can't really deal with that. So I'm actually going to tell these guys... Yeah, go ahead and kill this. We're going to tell these guys to just station right here. Unfortunate that that's going to have to be tied up, but that's the way it is. Excellent. And it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to make substantial progress on this war. I don't know that we're going to finish it. We're going to make substantial progress. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.